This month's show is dedicated to the 2019 FEI Awards Gala, presented by Longines, which was held in the State Kremlin Palace in Moscow, Russia. Now, in its 11th year, the five awards celebrate not only top sporting achievements, but also the unsung champions within the equestrian community. Hosting the event for a second time were dressage ace Juan Matuti Guimon and Paralympic gold medalist Natasha Baker. It is so amazing to be back hosting the FEI Awards Gala for a second year in a row with Juan. We worked amazingly well together last year in Bahrain. We had such an amazing and fun evening. Um, you know, we've swapped the beaches of Bahrain for the city of Moscow. We've got our big jumpers on and our woolly hats. Um, but yeah, to be here in Moscow, it's such an iconic city. So beautiful, steeped in history. Um, yeah, it's been a, a really great experience so far. Co-hosting with uh, Natasha Baker is fun. She is such a pro, she's really experienced with uh, speaking in front of large groups of people. Uh, mainly my activities are uh, writing, competing and, and studying in university. And so events like these I find uh, really, really fun, exciting and especially different. The awards gala is being held this year actually inside the Kremlin State Palace. It's such a beautiful, iconic building. So to be allowed inside and to be presenting in front of 400 people this year, it's gonna be an amazing evening. The FEI awards represent all of the values that the sport teaches, you know, discipline, sacrifice, effort, leadership, teamwork, and it serves as a, in my opinion, a big motivation. Uh, for the youth with the uh, Longines FEI Rising Star Award, with the uh, Peden Bloodstock Best Athlete Award, the FEI Solidarity, the Cavalor uh, Best Groom, which gives recognition to, to many professionals that unfortunately not always are recognized and they fly under the radar. And finally, the FEI Against All Odds Award also is directed to uh, people that have inspired through their personal situations, you know, uh, that they have been able to make their dreams a reality. I love all of the glitz and glam of the award. I've got a really beautiful new dress. You know, it's a great opportunity to get your hair done, have your makeup done. So yeah, really excited not to be in my britches for once. I think we're in for a very glamorous uh, evening. Uh, for sure, we will have a great time. It's going to be very enjoyable. Uh, I will be wearing, of course, uh, my tuxedo, uh, simplicity, elegance, and of course, I'll be wearing my smile. As darkness fell across Moscow, 400 guests, including top sporting legends, National Federation representatives, FEI partners and stakeholders arrive at the State Kremlin Palace for an evening of celebration and entertainment. Good evening, President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to be here with you all tonight for the FEI Awards Gala 2019 presented by Longines. The first accolade of the night was the Longines FEI Rising Star Award, presented by Longines Vice President of Marketing, Matthew Baumgartner. And for the first time, all five award winners would receive a stunning Longines timepiece. The four shortlisted nominees for this category were Ireland's young hopeful, Max Wachman, Volta Juan Martin Clavco, dressage star Samika Rothenberger, and Italy's Costanza Lalicia. Mr. Baumgartner, can you please reveal the winner of this year's Longines FEI Rising Star? The winner of the Longines FEI Rising Star Award is Semike Rottenberger. This award is for a person aged 14 to 21 who demonstrates outstanding sporting talent and commitment. Many of the previous winners have gone on to achieve great success. I started riding um, as a baby actually because uh, when my mother was pregnant with me, she of course still rode, so um, in the belly I was already part of it. Um, and yeah, being born into such a family who is so uh, busy with riding, it was um, a thing that just happened immediately for me. 
I don't just have my parents, but they're also my trainers. And um, also I can get a lot of help from my siblings. Yeah, it's really nice to get loads of tips from everybody and to have so much support. We are really proud, really, really proud because uh, Sammy is so passionate about horses. She loves her horse and uh, what she has gone through all this year and uh, what we as a family we went through, this is really a big thing what's going to happen now in Moscow. Um, my biggest achievements of 2019 are obviously the European Championships with dissertation. Um, we call her Daisy at home and she's just been incredible after how this whole year started. It was a real nightmare and um, she really got me back up again and gave me so much back which I'm really grateful for. She just really makes me smile every day. She has this um, cheeky thing about her and um, I think it's really much, much more with us than just the competing part. It's just um, that she really gave me back the fun part of riding after everything that happened and really gave me the motivation to keep on going. To win the Longines FEI Rising Star Award is really special for me. Um, it really just sums up this year perfectly. It um, shows and also honors our great work that we've done this year. But also uh, what makes it really, really special is that my brother has won it before. So now we've got two people in this family who have won the Rising Star Award. And um, yeah, that just makes me very, very happy. I'm even more happy now that my sister is also able to, to win this uh, yeah, really important award. And I think it just shows um, yeah, how much we put into this sport. And yeah, I think uh, we really had to start from scratch this year. But now uh, we as a whole family are really looking forward and, and a lot is happening here at Gestüte Erlenhof. We are going to come back stronger than we were before, um, look forward into the following years. By having two Longines rising stars, um, it makes us more mature that we do something good with the horses and that we can build up young, good riders. So um, we are really, really happy about that and proud. My future goal after <laughs> following my brother the whole time to all these big shows, of course, is to compete at Olympic Games in the future. I know it's a very big goal, but um, that would be a real nice thing to work towards too. Ladies and gentlemen, the Longines FEI Rising Star winners, Samike Rotenberger and Mr. Matthew Baumgartner. Being the new FEI Longines Rising Star is an amazing feeling. Um, I feel incredibly honored uh, to have won this award after everything that we've been through this year and also being the second of the family to have won this award. FEI Secretary General Sabrina Ibanez was then invited to the stage to present the second accolade of the night, the FEI Against All Odds Award. The four athletes in the running for this prize were USA's Marie von der Hayden, show jumper Eric Lamaz, para dressage rider Tobias Toring Jorgensen, and Chinese show jumper Zhen Qiang Li. The winner is Zhen Qiang Li from China. Mr. Lee was recovering from a recent operation in hospital, and so his two children collected the accolade on his behalf. The Against All Odds Award honours an individual or organisation who has shown strength, courage and determination in the face of adversity. At the age of 27, I was inspired to start riding after seeing someone else on a horse and becoming curious. At that time, horse riding in China was not popular, which meant that finding a horse was difficult. Equine sport has only really developed in the last 30 years, and even today the country is not that familiar with it. It was my own curiosity that really made me want to try horse riding. The 2008 Beijing Olympic Games were held in China, and, as the host country, we got automatic qualification for one place. But in order to participate, I needed to buy a horse. 
去参加奥运会。啊，因为我觉得。I went to Europe where I tried many horses, and Jumpy was the best for me. 我觉得，呃，我觉得最好。I believe that he was capable of taking me to the Olympic Games, so I bought him. 马是有能有能力，呃，带我去奥运会的一匹马，所以我就把它买下来了。Less than a year after the Olympic Games, we found out that Jumpy had intestinal cancer, which was heartbreaking. Unfortunately, there was no way to help him, and soon after, he passed away. After Jumpy died, I did not give up riding, and I worked very hard to pay off the debt that I was in after buying and then losing Jumpy. I have come back to pursue my dream, and I will not give up. I hope that other Chinese riders will now follow the title of the award against all odds to work together to overcome the challenges of developing Chinese equestrianism. In the future, I hope that more Chinese riders will compete at international events. Thank you to the FEI for supporting the sport in China and for all the people who voted for me at home and abroad. Your support and encouragement will inspire other Chinese riders to reach their goals. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sabrina, and congratulations again to the Against All Odds winner, Mr. Lee. I think uh, winning this award is like an inspiration for Chinese uh, riders that don't put a, a limit on themselves and everything is possible.